to Travel Spin. My name is Ariel, and today I am here in Pigeon Forge to check out the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Island Hotel here in the island at Pigeon Forge. I am super excited to be back. I'm gonna make a separate video later explaining what happened to me, why I've been gone for so long, what my travel plans were, things like that. A lot of things got derailed in my life, but I don't have time to think about that because right now I'm in the present and I am just happy to be back vlogging and talking to you and showing you how much fun you can have in a vacation spot. So today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the hotel in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. I'm here at Pigeon Forge because I'm also going to Dollywood and Gatlinburg, so make sure to keep an eye out for those videos coming in the near future. But today's episode is just going to be the hotel and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what the nightlife is like here at the island. And to my longtime subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me. I can, I know I kept saying that it's gonna get better. I'm gonna be back to vlogging. I'm actually gonna do this and then it never happened. But like I said, I'll make a separate video about that. So I look a little bit tired because I am. Um, I just did a three and a half hour car ride up here and I had to get up super early to take care of a bunch of other things before I could start making my way up to Pigeon Forge. So I'm a little tired, but for now, let's check out the hotel lobby, the room, and the nightlife atmosphere. So travel spinners, if you guys are ready to have a fun adventure today and just check everything out, come with me and make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button if you like what you saw because I'm gonna be making much more of these videos. All right, we're in and this is a look at the room. First of all, first thing I noticed when I walked in was this beautiful sea foam blue going on here. It really does feel like you are in the islands. There's also a bunch of really neat artwork on the wall that makes me kind of think of like a mix of Indiana Jones and adventure. So the room I'm staying in comes with a river view. When you stay at this hotel, there's a few options. They have suites and more exclusive rooms but there's also a difference in what side of the hotel you can be on. I opted for a river view, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but there's also, I think there's another one that you can look out onto the actual island village, which has a bunch of shops and things like that, which we're gonna take a look at very soon. Okay, so right when you walk into the room, to the right is the bathroom, which, hello. <laughs> All right, so when you come into the bathroom, first of all, big giant mirror with nice ring of lights around here. I actually think it looks pretty good. I don't know, it's not the best maybe with this, but maybe in the naked eye you guys might be able to see, but I can see my face really well. So it's nice to do makeup, but it's kind of looking a little yellowy here. But to the naked eye, it doesn't have that yellow glow. Oh, there you go. See how nice and bright that is? That's how it looks to the naked eye a little better. And in here, they have a beautiful rainbow colored parrot here. All the towels you need. And the vanity is really, really nice. We've got this nice floating sink here. I used it earlier, so that's why the soap's out. And of course, you got your standard. They went back to glass, I see. They kind of stopped doing that during the pandemic, but they went back to using glass. Tissue paper. And then to the right of the sink, we have a normal makeup removing towelette, another bar of soap, two makeup removing wipes, which is really nice. Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and some lotion. All of these products say Saint Somewhere Spa. So I think this is Jimmy Buffett's actual brand because he always says it's five o'clock somewhere in all of his songs. And also there's a compass on here on all of these uh, little bottles. And I believe that his logo is a compass. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is also his own brand of soaps and lotions. So the shower has a giant rain shower head and an extra shower head as well. Go ahead and open it. Ooh, and it comes with a seat. I didn't even notice that when I walked in here. Really nice tiling. Everything smelled so clean when I walked in here, and I'm sorry about that echo. It must sound terrible on camera. Rain shower head, and an extra shower head over here. And then right to the right of the shower is your standard commode. And if you need extra towels, they have them under the sink as well as extra toilet paper. And along the wall near the door, there are plenty hooks for towels. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be out of there. It's super loud. Um, oh, and FYI, they play really loud music in the hallway. I don't think they do that at night. I hope not. But All right, so here is a look at the rest of the room.
And the one thing I like about this room is this giant counter space across here has plenty of room. It comes with a Keurig, a sink, you also have your microwave and a refrigerator and you have an ice bucket up here. Comes with an extra towel and underneath the, not underneath the sink, but these two, if you open them up, there is a lot of storage. So if you're here with a lot of things or you're here for multiple days, this can come in handy, especially if you're with kids and a family. So all of these open up and they all are about this much storage across. Also when we arrived at the hotel, they gave us a nice little welcome bag and in here there's some pretty cool things. So, so we got a map of the hotel. This will give you guys an idea of this big hotel we are staying in. So I got into the lobby here and then we had to walk all the way around here to our room, which is this room right here. They have the little river, the little pigeon forge river back here. So that's what we're gonna be looking out onto. And all of these hotel rooms look down onto the actual shopping district area. This hotel has a rooftop pool, but I'm not sure if it's open right now because it's in the middle of October. It is warm today, but I didn't bring a bathing suit and I'm not sure if it's open. However, these rooms that are in red were the most expensive and I didn't understand why, but now I think I know. They have an island fountain show here, and I hope I'll be able to go to it tonight um, and watch it because it looked pretty cool in the advertising. So another thing they gave us in the welcome packet is a Pigeon Forge visitor's guide. It has some coupons in here and it explains things to do. I'm hopefully gonna be doing that on Wednesday. I'm very excited for that. But they, you know, advertise everything. They've got the food. Um, we also got some discounted coupons in here to use and some of the places to eat around here. So that was really nice. And these kinds of things are really helpful. The other thing that was in the bag was two of their waters. And here's a quick look at their Keurig. It comes with two cups, Keurig obviously, and then these are the options that came with. Pretty good, some breakfast blends there, including a decaf and some English breakfast tea. All right, so turning away from the bar, here is the rest of the room. I love this lounge chair that's right here and more artwork, they've got some surfboard artwork, like old wood that they used to use on crates, that's kind of the look they're going for, I think, because they have this wood burned in lettering here and this one says license to chill, which is really fun. I have already sat down on this bed when I first walked in, super comfortable. There is places to sit so you can put on your shoes. I don't know if you can see it, but there is, um, I think they call it embellishment or something, but you can see there's parrots because that is also Jimmy Buffett's logo. He loves his rainbow colored parrots. And then they have these really nice lights on the ends that makes me think of sea glass. All of these are individual, so they're kind of like reading lights, so everyone, and they're dimmable too. Oh wow, I didn't notice that. Oh, very cool, so they're dimmable, and you can just dim them with that knob, nice. Also, there's a full length mirror. Hey guys again. I'm always gonna wave at you whenever I see full length mirror, but this is a full length mirror. And then they have the television here that can kind of rock around. You can position it because they're, it's kind of off center because there's a fireplace over here, which I'll get to in just a second. They have a nice desk, chair, desk, drawers that are working. They're not just for show, so you can put things in there if you need to too. TV, don't think it's a smart TV. I was hopeful, but I haven't tried it out yet. I don't know. I will update you on the bottom if it is. Arm clock is all the way over here, which is an interesting choice because if you actually set that for an alarm and you're all the way over there and you want to hit snooze, you have to get up. So I guess maybe that's a good thing because it'll force people to wake up. These plugs are a little bit outdated, but they're fine. Um, they have, I don't even know what some of the stuff is. They have like headphone jacks for random things, HDMI cable, one USB port, and some plugs. So I just turned on the fireplace for you guys for just a second. It's pretty warm out there today. It's gonna get cooler this week while I'm here though, but today it's 80 degrees outside, but I did turn on the fireplace just to show it to you real quick. And if you ever wanna turn off the fireplace, you just come right around to the side. And this is actually a timer, which is great for people not to leave it on all day. And then you can just turn it off. All right, only one more thing to show you and then we're gonna go check out the lobby. So inside the closet, which is to the right of the fireplace, you have these rope pull handles and the light turns on automatically so you don't even have to turn anything on. Ignore my stuff because my family's things are in here. But it's a really nice space. It fits three suitcases plus some extra stuff. 
already have my sweater hanging up there. My things up there, a lot of storage up top. Comes with a laundry bag, very beachy looking laundry bag at that. Some hangers, and then as usual, a safe. In the closet, it comes with an iron, along with an ironing board. And now I'm going to go outside and show you guys what our little balcony looks like. First of all, before I do, these shutters are adjustable. So you can, so you can open them up if you prefer. So this is the back, this is the riverside view. And there are people out here, so I don't wanna bother them. I don't like being loud when others are trying to relax or somebody trying to read a book. Just wanted to give you guys an overview of what this beautiful creek looks like. And as you can see down here, this creek gets way more full. They've got support beams, so the water can rush right under here if need be. And also, I'm gonna zoom in because you can see there's some geese over here. There were more geese out here at one point, but I had to use the bathroom and stuff before I filmed. So they kind of moved down the stream a little bit, but you can see them. They're already getting ready to go to bed. Each one of these balconies comes with a table and two chairs, which is really nice. All right, let's go back inside. I don't want to disturb people.
Thank you guys so much for coming with me as we checked out Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Hotel. I really like this hotel so far. I'm excited to stay here and give you guys my thoughts about it at the end of the trip. And I have so many things coming up. I've got Dollywood, I've got Gatlinburg, and I'm also gonna be checking out the Pigeon Forge area and the Island Walk. So look for future videos for all of those individually made. I'm also here for the Harvest Festival. There's just a lot going on and I'm trying to pack it all in to the four days that I'm staying here. Um, I do know that that is not enough time. I'll be back. There's already 10 more things I've discovered just since I've been here in the last 20 minutes that I really, really want to check out and I just don't have time to this time. But don't worry, we will come back for all of those things. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos from me if you enjoyed this. Of course, if you didn't, that's fine. There are plenty of other YouTubers out there you can watch. I am rusty at it again. I keep doing this where I think I've, I'm gonna be fine and I start filming and then I lose something happens and I lose uh, time and months and months and months go by and then I feel like I'm making a new vlog all over again. Right after I kind of start settling in, I have to stop and then restart. Hopefully that was the last time of that because now I'm here and I'm ready to film and take you guys with me and just have some fun. The last three years have been really hard for everybody so we're just trying to just hang out together, check out some really cool things, you know, things like that. So let's just have some fun together. And again, thank you all so much for coming with me. And I'll see you guys back here really soon on Travel Spin. Bye everybody.